and this is Josh to be doing our show reaction with this Deadly Class Season 1, Episode 9. Um, I apologize if I haven't been getting these out lately. Um, I'm actually currently on spring break, but before that, I had midterms, and so midterms kind of took priority, and then also, it's just this week, I just, I basically just been trying to take care of myself this week, like, I've, like, for reference, I have six classes on a daily basis, I have six classes, a TA position, and a job, as well as this, so it's just, like, I just, I, I kind of need just to take a break for mentally, for mental sake, but I will be getting back into it. In fact, after these two episodes, I will most likely be recording uh, Game of Thrones sometime next week. So, so yeah, actually, and speaking of that, this is the last, this is the, um, almost the season finale of Deadly Class Season 1, and I'm really, really excited. I really enjoy this show, and I'm hoping it gets to Season 2. I haven't heard any news. If you guys have, let me know down in the comments. But, yeah, let's jump into this, shall we? Two. One. I think you're, I think she's gonna not make it. Oh, fuck. He's dead. He is 100% dead. He's like, fuck this shit. I'm not dealing with racist assholes. I don't blame him. Hey. Don't go. No. Don't go, no, no. Help your friend. I mean, yeah, you have to deal with a bunch of racist assholes, but come on. <laughs> a hard pass. A hard pass. Oh, fuck. If we don't stop Chester and get Chico's head, the cartel... The cartel will kill her, and the serial killer will kill you, everyone will die, we get it. So why won't you help? I helped the loony bird who almost castrated me. The hillbillies? The cartel? Mm. It's bloody Christmas break. I've got a plane ticket and a pint with my name on it. We need you. Please. Is it a mosh pit? Please tell me it's a mosh pit. Is mosh pits around by the 80s? There's more shit around in the 80s. Yep, yeah, it's a mosh pit. It's a mosh pit. A secular mosh pit. Yep, it's a mosh pit. By the way, I love this show's soundtrack. <laughs> I think it's a mosh pit. Although, unfortunately, this had to happen before the plan. So, if they get captured tomorrow, or worse, fuck, I don't even want to know what I'm trying to do. What did you do? What did you do? Cheated on my girlfriend with a deadly Japanese assassin. <laughs> Something else not. Then, oh wait, free. if you've done her. Oh. Night flashes. Someone catches up. Got twists. No. Jesus Christ, tell me I didn't say it. Oh. <laughs> Oh God! God damn! Oh fuck! I'm, I God damn! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad. This is Oh. God. Oh, fuck. Mm. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I did not expect that. Ugh. I'm telling you, Flaky Flicks is the best cookie. They got fudge, wafer, cornflakes. Hell You're so ill informed. Keyword. Far superior. Oh fuck. Say, I god damn it. Please tell me. Yeah. Sorry. Oh fuck. Ah, fuck! Oh, please tell me. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, fuck, that's even worse. That's even worse! That is not good. You're late for family dinner. That is worse. That is so, so worse. Deadly Class Season 1, Episode 9, and holy shit, uh, that went down, Huey's gone, um, Lynn's wife is dead, and fuck, um, and they're about to, and they're about to, okay, I have a weird thing, Marcus, because essentially he's using, okay, there's a cynical part of my brain, still, but to be honest, as much as I was kind of criticizing Huey for leaving, there is a part of me that says, like, he's kind of right. Because essentially what he, Marcus is doing is using his friends as kind of like a hit team to take care of his own shit. And I know that, like, his friends are ride or die and stuff, and I'm kind of for that. But it's just at the same time, though, he's... I don't know. I think it's also with that whole um, Saya Maria love, Marcus love triangle that is kind of pissing me off and pissing me off because it was just like, I... I think the reason why is because I feel like he's kind of like a dick, but then again, he's the one that decided to date Maria, so I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I feel weird about it. That being said, though, there were some really funny moments, including the fact that he should have stopped. Okay, that I did not expect, and was that in the comics? Because if that was in the comics, I really wanted to see how that was done. But then also, Lynn losing his wife, fuck, and now I have a feeling that there's going to be a fucking war, um, or I wonder if next season, especially given that we have only one more episode left after this, um, if it's just, if it's going to be Lynn versus everyone else, I wonder if he's going to be outcast from the guild and stuff, so shit. But yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed this episode, and I cannot wait to watch the next one, which I'm going to watch in a few minutes, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, if you actually make sure you comment down in the comment section, also subscribe, my name is Josh, I'll see you later, peace.